Hello there. You seem to have caught me reading my favourite book, The Barbary Pirates. Now, in case you haven't already discovered, the name of my show is What If, starring Neil, which is me, where we take the most influential men in history and pretend they never existed. Now, on tonight's little episode, we shall take maybe the most highly regarded man in history, Mr. Sylvester, and the most influential work ever to be discovered, Matrices. What would happen to the world if Mr. Sylvester, all of us unvanished, never existed? What would life be like in a world without Matrices? We're here with Tim McCann, and we're going to give him an interview on Matrices. Tim, can you tell us if you know what a Matrices is? Uh, I don't think Matrices even exist. You know what the world would be like without Matrices? Uh, pretty much the same. Um, I have about seven of them in my house. I recently adopted two more. I gave one to my brother. He loves it. He's so organized now and he can just put all of his information into that neat little bracket. And oh my gosh, it's turned him from the sloppiest person to the neatest person. He's so organized. And really, I'm looking to adopt about five more. I was just down in Panama and there was three that I was looking at down there to adopt and bring back. And man, without them, I don't know. They bring so much joy and happiness to my life. But above all else, they keep me so organized, it's not even funny. But uh, I would recommend them to anyone. I myself have three as well. Out of those five that I adopted, I named my favorite one Frank because, man, he has really meant the most to me. So, Mr. Maker, if I may be so bold, what would be your favorite thing about matrices? Yeah, they're actually my favorite. I have about five servings a day of them, and I really can't get enough. I have about two for breakfast, and usually I like it best with some milk, and you know, I sprinkle a little cinnamon on top, and it's usually pretty decent. Uh, it's not that bad. In the winter, I like to warm it up a little bit. You know, sometimes I try to pack one to take to work with me and have for lunch, and a lot of times if I'm wanting and dining my friends, I usually take them out, and we look for places that serve them, because I mean, really, you can't get enough of them. And when you find a place that makes them well, I mean, there's no going back to anything else, so there's a couple hot spots in town that we like to hit because, man, they make the best ones ever. Oh, that is very informative. Tell me what you do with these matrices. I use it to help me walk around. Jim. What would the world be without matrices? Free and chaotic. Big. And lots of people die. Well, I don't know what they are, so I don't know how well to do without them. It would be like communist Russia. It would be horrible. Would you be able to spell the word matrices for me? D R A G O N. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being fairly important and 1 being less than fairly important, could you please enlighten me on what number you would give me the importance of matrices? Probably five. Oh, um, I think seven and a half. Personally, I would give it a 15 in a scale of one to ten, but that's just me. I'm biased. There are the masses, the many, the few, and I've come upon this conclusion. Life without matrices. Can we really call it life? Join us next week on What If Nazi Messenger Pigeons Attack.